the objective of this presentation is actually, you must have heard previously when the previous the earlier speakers had referred to the geopolitical um, distribution of collaboration. Uh, we are presenting for the South-South zone with focus on Delta State. The essence of the presentation is to provide information on the research and clinical activities for sickle cell disease, going on for sickle cell disease in Delta State. It covers the main areas of work at the Federal Medical Center at Saba and activities at the level of the state. At the Federal Medical Center at Saba, we have um, initiated and institutionalized newborn screening whereby all babies delivered as FMC, as SABA, all newborns ref referred to the FMC and all newborns attending the immunization clinics of FMC are uh, screened. And we have been able to extend these screening activities to two primary healthcare centers in Asaba metropolis and to other health centers at Atumiga in Oshimile North and Onichuku in Anyosha South LGAs. On the other hand, all the newborn uh, diagnosed children with sickle cell disease are entered. Next slide, please. They are systematically enrolled into the new uh, the, the comprehensive care and follow up program of the department. Um, and where the, it has been institutionalized process as well. There is also follow up of the older children with sickle cell disease, and they have been entered into the national database because ASABA is one of the participating centers for clinical trials. So, we have actually been able to, um, uh, to concretize our work at the Federal Medical Center. At the state level, it is important to note that, th that with the dynamic efforts of Her Excellency Dame Lady Edith Sukowa and her NGO, there has been a commission specialized treatment center at the Asaba Central Hospital. It is fully equipped center with laboratory facility for plasma phoresis, exchange blood transfusion, transcranial dopplers, and there is HPLC screening for the newborn as well as for older children. I mean that they have two HPLC screening machines dedicated for the diagnosis of sickle cell disease. The set, that center also provides free treatment for children affected with um, sickle cell disease um, and others that have health insurance a, a scheme in the Delta Health Insurance Scheme they also provide subsidized therapy for the other children without insurance. The activities of the Delta State um, extends to 13 secondary health care levels um, in 13 local government areas where the, at the secondary level hospitals, they organize there are organized follow-up clinics for children affected and adults affected with SC sickle cell disease. The persons are registered and they receive routine health maintenance drugs for free. Infants and young children receive pentavalent vaccine and, uh, and penicillin prophylaxis for free as well. Next slide. And it is important to note that more recently, the activities have really moved to the next stage in the Delta State because only 48 hours ago, training had been conducted for 
um, health workers at the primary health care level because there is the plan to extend newborn screening to all the children born in Delta State because there is a law being passed to that effect. And the training that happened on Monday was the first step um, to the piloting of this newborn screening um, uh, pr process. With that, the newborn screening machine that had just been commissioned will be put into full use. I thank you for your kind attention. We have come to the end of this presentation. Thank you.